Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali, and today in this screencast, we will learn another cool trick of uh, financial modeling in Excel that is related to circular references. And we will handle how we can uh, avoid these circular references by iterative calculations. Uh, I have set two uh, short examples in this video. Uh, the first is related to a short PNL that is profit and loss statement and the second one is uh, one side of the balance sheet that is the asset side. Through it is usually preferable to avoid circular references they will appear occasionally when building some uh, complex calculations and uh, iteration is uh, repeatedly recalculating a worksheet until a specific numeric condition is met and Excel cannot calculate a formula that refers to the cell either that is related directly or indirectly and that contains the formula. This is called a circular reference and circular references by default can iterate indefinitely leading to errors in worksheets. Many users take advantage of Excel formula editing uh, tab functions to identify circular referencing formulas and change them so that uh, circular references disappear. However, it is not always necessary to eliminate these references if you understand why they have been appeared. So, uh, uh, and you can uh, raise the question that what impact they have and how to ensure that the presence of these formulas is not affecting the accuracy of the worksheet. The most common way that I am going to tell you is a way of accommodating formulas with circular references is to like change the number of iterations uh, uh, calculated uh, every time in Excel. Uh, so uh, starting with the first example let's say uh, I have to calculate the operating ex expenses uh, uh, with in relation with the 15 percent of the my net income. So I will write a simple formula here is equals to the B11 that is the cell of uh, net income amount multiplying by 15 percent as soon as I press enter it shows me nothing because I have uh, created some uh, complex calculations okay and when I press F it me some uh, results also uh, in second example uh, I have some uh, current uh, assets types that is current assets, fixed assets, advances, investments and other assets and I want the amount of total assets so it's simple like if you use some function and sum all these cells you will get the total assets but what about the other assets uh, I want the 10 percent of the my current total assets that is F11 multiply by 10 percent and when I press enter I get nothing in it because I have again created a complex calculation and you can see in this first example that you will get some uh, blue lines with some arrows or dots in it uh, these are called the circular references pointers uh, when you create some complex calculation in Excel you will not get your uh, relative answer according to this complex calculation so avoiding these circular references and to get your answers uh, on multiple uh, different conditions what you have to do is enable the iterative calculations in Excel for doing uh, that you have to click on this office button I am using Excel 2013 uh, you can also uh, if you are using um, below versions like 07 or 10 you can also uh, click on the uh, left top button of the office button that is the file menu click on file and then go to options you will see a window of uh, excel options and here you have the, sec the second option that is related to the formulas click on formulas and now click to check enable the check of enable iterative calculations and uh, on, on default the maximum iterations is uh, set on 100 and maximum change is set on 0 0.001 and uh, usually Excel reaches sufficiently accurate results in as few as three iterations press OK as soon as you press OK now you will you see that uh, the circular references are gone and uh, you are getting your results according to your uh, complex calculations in PNL and balance sheets so this is how you can remove this, uh, these circular references or you can avoid circular references. Uh, the important point is uh, that many Excel users view circular referencing formulas as errors. However, while we should generally avoid circular references, 
they are not always errors and in fact sometimes are necessary to address complex situations practically as you seen in this step uh, the key to working with circular references is to enable uh, excel iterative calculations uh, calculation tool and upon doing so you should find that cir your circular referencing formulas functions as you intend them to do uh, i hope uh, this trick will be uh, very meaningful and learning for you uh, thank you so much bye